Carol Moffitt is the president and the CEO of the Center for International Environmental Law. It's a nonprofit organization that helps protect the environment and promote human rights. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Uh, we just saw that story about what's happening in Africa. Can you talk about the importance of migration to the survival of a species? I think what's really important to recognize is that climate change is disrupting migratory patterns and migratory routes for species around the world, whether it's monarch butterflies in Mexico or hummingbirds and, and other pollinators or, or whales traveling, traveling across the Pacific Ocean. We're seeing disruptions um, in, in species, in species migra migratory patterns in their behaviors around the world. And often the, these disruptions can result in, in, in truly dramatic impacts on the species population. Because really they're in search of more food, uh, a safer place to go to start their families, right? And, and what's happening here is they're losing all that. They, it, it can inter, interfere with their search for food. It can interfere with their search for mates. It can lead them into conflict with other species as different species move uh, at different paces in response to climate change, bringing new predators to play, bringing new conflicts for habitat into play. So why should people be concerned about the changes in animal migration? How does it affect us? Well, I think it affects, I think the first we should be concerned about the changes in animal migrations because of the impacts on, on the species themselves. Biodiversity is a, is a value to be preserved, but it also has profound impacts on, on humanity. Um, and this is very clear in the context of pollinators. Pollinators are critical to many human food, food sources. And we don't think about that very often. And, and when, when pollinator relationships are disrupted, it can mean tremendous impacts to economically valuable crops or crops that are vital for, for subsistence. Talking about food, vegetables, uh, exactly. a way of life for people. What animal species could be at most risk? I think we see um, the species that are at greatest re risk are species that already have a very natural, narrow range. If you look at things like the resp resplendent quetzal in, in Costa Rica that's being forced higher and higher up small cloud mountains. If you look at, if you look at species like the monarch butterfly, which are already on, you know, already threatened through other, other risks. If you look at species like the polar bear, which has nowhere else to go, I think we see um, threats facing species around the world um, in a variety of contexts. But could this just be cyclical? Uh, particularly bad because we are in an El Nino year? Certainly, certainly El Nino is amplifying uh, a climate effect that, that we're already experiencing. But the science is very clear and unequivocal that climate impacts are a major driver in, in the effects that we're seeing on migratory species. All right, Carol Muffet, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate your input.